to reduce the clutter on your table, you need a direction. So something like Prep Ladder gives us that direction. You have some 40 hours or 50 hours of Ghana. I have given all the content of pharmacology. I have contributed the entire content for internal medicine. I have created the content for PSM. You can trust the questions and explanations to be genuine. Detailed explanations will help you solve the different variations of the same question. Textbook references will help you authenticate an answer. I have created this content after close inspection of the previous year questions. I have put in my 14 years of experience into creating these questions. Includes the latest exam questions, questions on the recent updates, as well as the image based questions. All questions are according to recent exam trends and difficulty level. So the software would be exactly like the real exam. All your queries come directly to me. So if you have any kind of doubt, you can ask me directly. I'll be solving all your microbiology related queries. You can ask anything about the subject, doesn't have to be only about a question. I'm always available for you whenever you need help. You can have a counseling session with me. So we've put in features to make sure you keep studying. The Preplader app will never let you fall behind. Solving OBS and Gynec questions will be easy for you after this. You would not have to worry about anatomy at all. You will be able to solve most of the questions in PSA. Most pathology questions in the exams are going to be derivatives or the repeats from these questions. 1 lakh competitors. 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 It's good to see that everyone in the team is giving their best. This is the best team of faculties that could have been put together. This is the biggest innovation in medical education. We are obsessed with making sure that you get the best value out of every minute spent on the Preplader app. Really happy to be a part of Team Preplader. You know, if there was something like Preplader when I was preparing, I will, I'm, I'm sure that I would have prepared much better because I would have known what to read. As we're talking about the next discussion, we have to discuss the boundaries of the third ventricle in more detail. And as you're doing that, you have to magnify the societal section of the brain. You have taken one anterior posterior section and you have removed one part of the brain looking at the other part of the brain from the medial view to look at the third ventricle, which is the midline ventricle. Now, if you say third ventricle is a midline ventricle, there are questions asking, what are the structures at the floor of the third ventricle? For that purpose, I have to magnify the diagram. So this is the diagram where you are looking at the sagittal section and third ventricle, and you want to magnify this area. Yeah, that is the area which I want to magnify. Okay, then let's do it. As you do that, you understand that this is the third ventricle and it will have some structures which are in the lateral wall. What are the structures in the lateral wall of third ventricle? What is the extent of the third ventricle? Actually, if you are talking about the extent of the third ventricle, you have to understand. It is uh, starting here. What is this? This is the foramen of Monroe. You mean to say interventricular foramen of Monroe, which is connecting the lateral ventricle with third ventricle? Yes, CSF will come here and flow like this towards here. What is that? That, you know, is the cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. Cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. Now, if you say that is a cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius, is that in the midbrain? This is midbrain. Yes, it is midbrain because this is the tegmentum part of midbrain and that is the tectum part of the midbrain. This is superior colliculus and this is inferior colliculus. 
where this is superior colliculus and this is inferior colliculus, this is the tectum part of the midbrain. Now, if you say that is the tectum part of the midbrain and that is superior colliculus on the dorsal side of midbrain and this is inferior colliculus on the dorsal side of midbrain, I think these are two each. Yes, forming corpora quadriga mina. Yes, corpora quadriga mina on the dorsum of the midbrain, which is actually tectum part of midbrain. The ventral is tegmentum. Now, if you say this is tegmentum part of midbrain, what is this between tectum and tegmentum? That is cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. So, what is the extent of third ventricle? It is ventricle of the diencephalon. It is coming from the interventricular foramen of Monroe to the beginning of the aqueduct Sylvius. Can you tell me the third ventricle, which is the ventricle of the diencephalon, what is the lateral wall of that? Yes, of course, I know. This is the thalamus. If you say that is the thalamus, then what is under that? Under that is the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus. Okay, so this is the thalamus, which is the lateral wall of the third ventricle. This hypothalamus, which is lateral wall of the third ventricle. I think it is the floor also. Yeah, floor also. It is floor. At the floor, you can see mammillary body. This is the mammillary body. So, this is the mammillary body, which is part of the hypothalamus, which is at the floor of the third ventricle. Yes, this is hypothalamus, which is part of is mammillary body and it is at the floor of the third ventricle. Hypothalamus is not only lateral wall but also floor and CSF is passing in this sulcus. Can you tell me what else is at the floor of the third ventricle? Yes, the tegmentum part of the midbrain. Tegmentum part of midbrain. Oh, also tegmentum part of midbrain. Yes. So, this is the tegmentum part of midbrain which is also at the floor of the third ventricle. This is the hypothalamus mammillary body. I think there is some more structures. Yes, there are. There will be a tuber cyanarium also, TC. There will be a tuber cyanarium also, TC. And there is one more thing. What is that? That is infundibular stalk. What is that? It is infundibular stalk. If you say that is infundibular stalk, what is infundibular stalk for? That is to connect the neurohypophysis, posterior Pedal tree will make a diagram for that. You are telling that posterior pedal tree neurohypophysis is a downward extension of the diencephalon part of the brain. Yes, downward extension of the diencephalon part of the brain is posterior pedal tree. So it is attaching here and there is some infundibular stalk, pedal tree stalk. We will draw a diagram for that. What is this? This is the optic chiasma. That is the optic chiasma. <clears throat> so, this is the optic chiasma. Optic nerve is the nerve of the diencephalon. Yes, optic nerve is the nerve of the diencephalon. This is optic chiasma. So, can you tell me what are the structure at the floor of the third ventricle anterior to posterior? What is the most anterior structure? Optic chiasma. What is behind that? Infundibular stalk. What is behind that? Tuber cyanidium. What is behind that? Mammillary body. What is behind that? Tubers. This is tegmentum part of the midbrain. Can you tell me what is the roof? The roof of uh, third ventricle, yes. Okay. Roof of third ventricle is this structure. Do you know this structure? What? The fornix, yes, fornix, fornix. Okay, you are telling that fornix, which is a you know C-shaped structure, which is a roof of the third ventricle. Yes, not only roof, but it is coming anterior also. Anteriorly also. So, it is the roof of the third ventricle fornix and coming anterior also. Anteriorly actually there is one more structure. What is one more structure anteriorly? Actually there is one anterior structure which is called as the lamina terminalis. Lamina terminalis. What is that? Lamina terminalis. We will draw a diagram then we will discuss. Lamina terminalis. And not only lamina terminalis but there will be some anterior commissure also. Anterior commissure also. So, you are telling the anterior wall of the third ventricle is lamina terminalis, some anterior commissure. Anterior commissure, the first commissure to develop? Yes. Connecting right brain with left brain? Yes. And some Part of fornix also come in here, but uh, usually it is the roof of the third ventricle. What is posterior boundary of the third ventricle then? Posterior, yes, pineal. Pineal is posterior. If you say pineal is posterior 
along with pineal there is also posterior commissure posterior commissure remember the pineal gland and the posterior commissure are the posterior boundary of the third ventricle so where is third ventricle this 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 is third ventricle then what is the posterior boundary that is the pineal gland and posterior commissure so let us make a diagram now ourselves we'll make a diagram for the boundaries of the third ventricle then and uh, it's a schematic diagram if you are making a schematic diagram then where do you start where do you end actually this is called as the foramen of monroe if that is the foramen of monroe then what is this this is actually the aqueduct of Sylvius, beginning of the aqueduct of Sylvius. So that is the extent, that is where the CSF is running. Yes, CSF runs downward like that. So as the CSF was running downward like that, I think it is going to separate the thalamus above that, yes. And hypothalamus below that, yes. Hypothalamus and thalamus, both of them are lateral wall of the third ventricle. Now, when you say the thalamus is the lateral wall and also hypothalamus is the lateral wall, it is not only lateral wall, but it is also floor, like it was giving mammillary body and it is also giving tuber cinerium. So, this is the mammillary body and that is tuber cinerium, part of hypothalamus. If you say, this is foramen of Monroe from where the CSF is going down towards the aqueduct of Sylvius. Above that is thalamus lateral wall of third ventricle and below that is hypothalamus lateral wall of third ventricle. But hypothalamus is also floor and contributing to tuber cinerium and mammillary body. What else was in the floor of the third ventricle? This. What is this? This is the tegmentum part of the midbrain. If that is the tegmentum part of the midbrain which is at the floor of the third ventricle then there was some other structure what are they actually i found that was optic chiasma most anterior if the optic chiasma is most anterior then what was behind that behind that was some infundibular stalk and if you are telling that is the infundibular stalk that is also called as the pituitary stalk which pituitary are you talking about neurohypophysis the posterior pituitary a downward extension of the diencephalon so tell me the structured at the floor of the third ventricle anterior to posterior most anterior is the optic chiasma behind that infundibular or pituitary stalk the neurohypophysis suspended there and then tuber cinerium part of hypothalamus behind that mammillary body behind that tegmentum part of the midbrain can you tell me what is the anterior boundary anteriorly yes i know it is lamina terminalis you know what is lamina terminalis lamina terminalis is actually the anterior or the cranial end of the neural tube. Neural tube will stop here. So, neural tube is stopping here and this is the anterior or the cranial end of the neural tube. It is called lamina terminalis and it is forming the anterior boundary of the third ventricle along with the anterior commissure. This is the anterior commissure anteriorly and also you will see the fornix beginning. So, fornix is basically the roof of the third ventricle but fornix is not only roof of the third ventricle it is also coming slightly anteriorly as well then what is posteriorly posteriorly actually we were having what is called as the pineal gland but along with the pineal gland you also have what is called as posterior commissure so posterior commissure and pineal gland are posterior boundary yes maybe a pineal gland or posterior commissure they are the posterior boundary of the third ventricle. These are the boundaries of the third ventricle. And then we got some question upon that. You see, this question is asking, all is seen in the floor of the third ventricle except, and you already know the answer. Tell me the answer. And your answer is oculomotor now. Why? Because it is not at the floor. Then who is? Can you tell me? The other structure which are at the floor of the third ventricle anterior to posterior which is the most anterior structure most anterior is the optic chiasma what is behind that that is the tuber cinerium what is behind that that is the mammillary body mm -hmm.